Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cruising Maya. If we haven't met before, we are Mac, Jenny, and Disco, and together we've been exploring the West Coast of North America aboard our trusty sailboat Maya. Most recently, we made the long trip from Southeast Alaska to the very tip of Baja, Mexico. And in the last video, we spent an amazing week in Cabo before ending up in Los Frailes, where we waited for another weather window to continue north. In this episode, you'll see us battle upwind and do some amazing fishing as we travel north towards our next major destination, the city of La Paz. Now, before we start this episode, one thing you need to know about this area is that during the winter months, there are El Norte winds, which can blow 25 plus knots for days on end. Winds funnel down the Sea of Cortez, creating formidable and downright ugly sea conditions. Because of these winds, it's critical we time our travel correctly so we can safely make it to the next anchorage. Los Frailes was one of those stops. And jumping back into the story, we just left Los Frailes en route to our next destination, Los Muertos, a 45 nautical mile sail to the north. Like the first time in about 2,000 miles, we're beating into the wind. I'll tell you what, started taking going downwind for granted. It's work going upwind here. We've got a uh, reef in the main, we've got a reef jib, we've got the motor going, and we're making good progress. But, I mean, it's tacking back and forth, we, yeah. Almost there, though. something new now um, so we brought it aboard we put booze we put some alcohol in its gills and it basically kind of knocks it out and uh, then what we did is we slipped the gills and now we're towing it behind the boat bleed to bleed it out so we're just we've never done this before but giving it a shot Really nice size fish though, really. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be good eating. All right, so we've bled the fish now. That seemed to do the trick. So we trailed the fish for about five minutes or so and that seemed to get quite a bit of blood out. So now we begin the process of filleting and uh, harvesting the fish. All while sailing, clothes haul. Under reef. Yep, never a, never a dull moment out here on the open sea. So as you can see here, we don't have the best setup for filleting, but we make it work. After we fillet the fish, we vacuum seal it and stick it in our portable deep freezer, which allows us to store about 20 pounds of fish. We eventually made it to Bahia Los Muertos, where we would wait for our next weather window to make the jump to La Paz. 
As it would happen, we got connected with a wing foiling guy who was in the area traveling by van, and he offered to take us up to La Ventana for the day to check it out. It turns out we have some learning to do on the wing foiling front, but we still had a really good time checking out La Ventana. And to make the day even more fun, we hosted a party on Maya when we got back. Remember that fresh Dorado? Big hit at the party. So after a few more days at Muertos, the weather window opened up and we made the push north towards our next major destination, the city of La Paz. Okay, good morning. Another early start here. We are leaving Los Muertos right now and we are headed around the point, uh, most likely to uh, Balandra Bay or one of those other bays in there. And uh, yeah, we're almost to La Paz, which is very exciting. And uh, the wind has died out. We have nasty winds the last few days, but. Uh, it's calmed down, so this is our travel day. It definitely seems like it's going to be a nice one, although we, the sea state is... Oh. <laughs> the sea state is a little rough, but hopefully that'll settle out, so we'll check back in later. Okay, so as you can see behind me, the sun is starting to come up, and so as you can see, we're working our way up the channel, tacking back and forth. Ventana right now which is world famous for wind sports and unfortunately we're going the wrong way we're going upwind and it is pretty intense right now so we've got single reef main and a heavily reefed jib with the engine going I'm just watching spray just fly out <laughs> we're on a good tack right now, so that's that's helpful. We're we're trucking along like over seven knots, but um, it's spicy. Happy waves. 
waves are just brutal out here in between uh, Seralvo Island and uh, Baja. Yeah, we are just motor sailing through them because that seems to be the most effective way to just get through this section because yeah, you just really don't want to be out in it, especially past dark, so we are motor sailing. Yeah, the interval is like three feet at five seconds. And I guess it gets up to like six feet at six seconds, five feet at five seconds, and that sounds horrible. Uh, this was the best day in the forecast this week to go, so that's why we uh, picked it. And yeah, we're just about to get into the anchorage here in a couple hours. Really looking forward to that. <laughs> Got another fish on here. Whoa. After an epic upwind sail, we rounded the corner and dropped the hook in Belandra Bay. After that upwind bash up from Bahia de los Muertos, now to Belandra Bay, oh, definitely feels worth it. It's absolutely stunning here. I really can't believe we're here. It's pretty surreal. Just white sandy beaches, turquoise waters. Wow, it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, so with us safely anchored in Belandra Bay, that's a good place to stop. Be sure to join us next time as we explore La Paz, work on some equipment malfunctions, and we visit the absolutely stunning Espiritu Santo Island. If you're already subscribed to our channel, thank you so much for following along. It means a lot to us knowing our videos have resonated with you. And if you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got a lot more to share from Pacific Mexico and you don't want to miss out. Before we go, a reminder, we have a website at cruisingmaya.com. There you'll find more information about us and the boat. You'll also find a merchandise store full of official Cruising Maya gear. We're constantly adding items, so check it out for all the latest in sailing YouTube channel fashion. Also on our website, you'll find a Gear We Love page, which lists a bunch of different items we use to live and cruise on our boat. The best part is, if you click any of those links and then do any shopping on Amazon in the next 24 hours, we'll get a small commission from that sale. 
That's a great free way to help us out. And we really do feel those commissions. So thank you to everyone who has helped out in that way. If you'd really like to help us out, you can join us on Patreon. We've got several different levels of support to choose from. A huge shout out to our current patrons. You guys are awesome and we appreciate every one of you. Okay, so that's going to do it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you here next time.